Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to convert DVD to MP4 on a Windows or Mac computer using DVD Fab. So why is it necessary to convert your physical DVDs to MP4 or other digital formats? Well, the reason is very obvious. Physical DVDs cannot last long. So all the contents on those DVDs will be lost once the DVDs are corrupted. But MP4, or MKV or MOE are digital formats, which can be stored easily on any device, including smartphones, tablets, computers, or even external hard disks for years to come. So converting your physical DVDs to one of these video formats is the best option for you. This conversion method makes use of an app called DVD Fab which is one of the best DVD rippers to convert any types of DVDs or Blu-rays to MP4 and many other video and audio formats with GPU accelerated fast speed and high output quality. Okay, without further ado, let me demonstrate how this app works. So in the description of this video, you can find a link that leads you directly to DVD Fab website. Just click on the link, it will lead you to this website, DVD Fab. To download it at the top menu, Click on DVD Fab and you go to DVD Ripper. Click on it and it will present you with two options whether to try it for free or buy it now. And if you're using Windows computer, click here, it will show you the Windows computer version. If you're using Mac, of course, click to download for Mac version. So because I'm using Mac, I just click on try for free for Mac. And now it shows you two options whether your Mac has Intel chip or Mac with Apple chip M1, M2 or M3. So because my iMac is still using Intel chip, so I will download this one. And now I start downloading. I already downloaded this app and install it. So you're going to do the same after you finish downloading it. Double click to install it. Once you're done, open the app. Here I already installed it and the app is called DVD Fab 13. Just click on it. So as you can see on the welcome screen here that it shows you the features or options that you can later purchase if you find the app useful. And currently I have two features activated. One is DVD Ripper and the other one is Blu-ray Ripper. But if you just try this app for the first time, all of these will show full trial. It will not show activated like that. So what you need to do is just click on Start DVD Fab. Now it shows you the app. So as you can see here on the left here, there are a few options that you can choose. We have Home. Copy, Ripper, Converter, and Creator. But the feature that I'm going to show you is Ripper. So with this Ripper feature, it allows you to convert your DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray discs to digital formats like MP4, MKV, MP3, FLAC, or even more other video formats. So what you need to do in order to convert your physical DVD to MP4 is that I need to click on Add Source here and I look for my DVD drive. So as you can see here, if you have ISO file or IMG file or NOG file instead, you can also select that. But if you actually have a physical DVD inserted into your DVD drive, you can also select that. As you can see here, I just added my DVD from my DVD drive. So this is the name of the DVD, HK Animals 2. So if you take a look at it, you can see that right here, they allow you to choose other titles. If your DVD has more than one title, you can also select that. But my DVD only has one title. You can also add external subtitle to your DVD when you convert. And by default, the output format is MP4. If you want to change it, click on it and they have the option for you to choose other profile. Click on that and you can see here, these are the popular formats that people usually convert to like AVI, FLV, M2TS, MKV, MP4, MOV and so on. If you click on Web Optimized, they have MP4 for YouTube or MP4 for YouTube 4K. They have also audio options for you to choose that you can select to convert to. But let's go back to video here and select the most common video format, which is MP4 right here. And if you want to make changes to the detail of the video profile, you move your cursor down here 
to this icon right here called advanced settings click on it and you will see the advanced settings for your mp4 profile so we'll start with the kodak so by default it selects h264 for you but you can also select mpeg4 but again the recommended kodak is h264 the resolution you can also change if you want to but this is the resolution that has been selected based on your dvd you can also make it bigger but i just leave it the way it is for encoding method if you click on it you see that they have a few options like fast encoding or c or F or high quality encoding again if you stick with fast encoding of course it will encode faster but if you want the high quality encoding it will encode a little bit slower but with high quality encoding so for the purpose of this video I will select fast encoding for video quality also they have four options for you fast speed standard high quality and customized I would recommend you to select high quality so that the video will be better bit rate just leave it the way it is my DVD content the frame rate is only 20 2397 which is 24 instead of selecting 2397 I select 24 which is exactly the same and we scroll down here you will see some more options we have the audio codec option so over here I would recommend you to leave everything the way it is unless you're sure what you're doing otherwise just leave it the way it is so once you're done click on OK now before you click on start to run the conversion you should also select the output folder or location after you convert the DVD where you want it to be stored so just click on on the folder icon right here and then you select where you want to save I want to save it on desktops it will be easily accessible so I click on desktop right here click on open so now my new output folder will be on my desktop so once everything is ready you click on start to start a conversion and they show you this one as well you can also track your conversion process through the app as well if you want to but in my case I don't want to so I click on ok now it's start the conversion let's sit tight and wait for it So as you can see there, they said the process completed successfully. Now the conversion is completed. Let's take a look at it. So right here is the video. Let's see what it looks like. So as you can see there, the video quality is really good. So you can see how fast DVD Fab can convert your DVD to MP4. And also the output video quality is also amazing. However, my only negative view is related to the user interface. I wish the app developer should have made the characters displaying here look sharper, like crystal clear or HD quality. Even the logo right here still look quite fuzzy. So I wish that in a future update, the developer will improve this so that the app would look a lot better in terms of user interface but there's no doubt with the conversion performance it converts very fast and efficiently and the result that comes out is also amazing so with DVD fab all your concerns about your physical DVD being outdated or corrupted will be over you can just use this app to convert all of those physical DVDs to mp4 or other digital formats quickly and easily I would recommend you to try this app to find out how useful it is again you can try it with a trial versions first to see how it works and if you find the app beneficial enough to you you can go back to its official website from one of the links in the description below to purchase the app genuinely okay that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video